The vision for Paradise, um, I mean, 2008 we started looking at this project and, uh, you know, it was a real idea of concept, you know, working with our partners at the City Council is trying to break down some of the concrete barriers that were put there during the 1960s highway design. Uh, we knew it was going to be an immensely challenging project, but as we sit here proudly today, I mean, what a tremendous job. Uh, the team have done. The vision was all about breaking down the barriers, getting the pedestrians through to the west of the city, to the north of the city. You know, that design in 1960 was all about subways and people elevated in the sky and pedestrians felt isolated. Unfortunately, it's failed planning. So our vision was all about opening up streets and places. It wasn't about the buildings then, but it was making something which really was suitable for a great city like Birmingham and really complementing the beautiful existing listed buildings sitting around the development. It's all about reconnecting the city to people through being pedestrians or cycling and creating great places because that's what makes great cities and successful cities. Our driver here, our absolute driver is we're obsessive. We're obsessive with quality of detail, quality of the buildings. We set ourselves a task a number of years ago, we want every building to be different because that's what makes a city, it creates character. It's not a business park in a city quality of the public realm, quality of the events now, the pandemic's over, in terms of how we can activate those spaces and make people enjoy the place. I mean, I think at Paradise, we haven't just created successful connections between other parts of the city. I believe that we're creating new dwell spaces, new living rooms for the city. You design buildings and you design places for people. And I think that's what hopefully we achieve and we hopefully will continue to achieve in the rest of the Paradise development.